Big news today out of Cuba where Cardinal Aime Ortega has died after a long battle with cancer. Now he was a key figure in the negotiations that led to the restoration of diplomatic relations between the U.S. and Cuba. Local 10's Hatsul Vela is the only South Florida reporter living and working in Cuba and he joins us live from Havana this midday. Hatsul. Janice Samantha, a huge loss for the Catholic community here in Cuba. Cardinal Jaime Ortega, the Archbishop here in Havana, for more than three decades, always working out of the main cathedral here in Old Town. Ortega first becoming a priest in 1964. So a big part of Cuban history, at least recent Cuban history. In a statement today, the church saying, partly, today we think of Cardinal Jaime with affection and gratitude. He will remain with us with the memories of his smile, intelligence, and his committed and sometimes afflicted priesthood. A great churchman, just one of the adjectives used to describe the man who for decades led the Catholic Church in Cuba, perhaps God sent, Cardinal Jaime Ortega was there at the right time in Cuban history. Miami's Archbishop Thomas Winsky is a friend. That he was able to negotiate very difficult circumstances to gain for the church in Cuba space. Under Ortega's leadership, the Catholic Church established itself as practically the only independent institution with widespread influence on the island. <laughs> Ortega was there for three papal visits, which arguably created the space the church now has in Cuba. And that includes the state officially recognizing Christmas and Good Friday. The first visit, that of Pope John Paul II, thought to be the most important. That visit really marks a before and an after in the life of the church in Cuba. Prior to that, Cuba was atheist and banned public religious events. In the early years of the revolution, priests were expelled and more than 150 Catholic schools were nationalized. Ortega was among the many Cuban priests sent to military-run prison camps known as UMAP. Some say that may have prepared him for life as a man of faith. During his long career, he was able to uh, speak to uh, government officials without surrendering the independence of the Catholic Church. Ortega was Havana's Archbishop 35 years until he retired in April of 2016, shortly after then President Barack Obama visited. Ortega left his post at the height of U.S.-Cuba relations. In fact, it is said he played a key role in the secret negotiations that led to two countries renewing their friendship back in 2014. Ortega has been criticized for not being critical of the Cuban government. A polarizing figure many in the exile thought Ortega was not a vocal defender of human rights. He did play a role in negotiations with the Castro government over the release of the Group of 75. Dissidents jailed after a 2003 crackdown known as the Black Spring. I think he did what he could and he did what he was required to do within the context of Cuba. Ortega died at age 82. The Cuban government releasing a statement this morning saying his tireless pastoral work for his love in Cuba led him to decisively strengthen relations between the Catholic Church and the state. We understand the funeral services will be held here at the cathedral. We're gonna stay here on the ground and of course bring you the latest from here in Cuba. Janice and Sam.